know this is happening according to this. Uh, I'm, I'm, this is actually the backing track, and and the backing track is basically based on the, the, these chords. Okay, these are the chords for the solo of the. Uh, let me get the volume down. Okay. Okay, these are the, the, the chords for the, the solo of the uh, Hotel California and it goes in this cycle. So if uh, you are playing the lead for the solo, um, you can uh, get somebody to, to write down this sequence of chords, seven chords, and play it uh, on a cycle and Two bars each, that's all. Two bars each. All, all the, the distance between the, the each chord change, each chord change is the same. Okay, the same time. Okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's all based on the two bars. And uh, you get somebody to play this sequence, write it down. Then uh, you play the lead. Okay. Uh, and if the lead is a bit, uh, if you find the lead a bit. Uh, um, Difficult, just play on the scale, the A minor scale. Okay, the A minor scale would be around here. Okay, one, seven, five, five, <laughs> all doing cover versions but they, they they really got to learn it from the uh, I think they go into there's a lot of tutorials and all that but I I seldom want to uh, encourage my students to learn uh, from tutorials or learn uh, ad verbatim you know ad verbatim is exactly how the original uh, guitarist played it because uh, most of the time when they go on stage they don't play the same they play a different version they play uh, yeah, they, they, yeah. they play the um, the uh the version that i showed you the goring one five what five eight five seven five seven five seven then they shift from uh, this octave okay you look at this huh this is the if you want to find the second octave just see the same dots recurring the dots recurs okay the dot recurs okay this dot recurs here this dot recurs here okay this dot recurs here and this dot recurs here so basically we want to find the uh, a minor the scale is here yeah <laughs> And uh, going. A lot of my friends, when they, uh, I mean, say for example, we go to a pub and they see me and they, uh, hey, uh, uh, Frank, uh, Jolly, uh, come and play. And my friends ask me, hey, hello, you, do you know what song they're playing? Do, do you really know you, you can just go up and play? I said, basically, if you know the scales, uh, just, just, and, and you look at them, them, you know what key they're playing, and then you just play the scale according to that key. You're just going away. Why, why are you worried? Nobody's going to know whether you're playing the original or what. Uh, and they, they, they will still uh, applaud and scream. 
and whatever, not knowing that you're not playing exactly. Nobody's going to say hello. That's not the way uh, so and so plays uh, uh, or uh, Santana or, or Slash. You're not playing exactly unless that person <laughs> had learned the song. Yeah. So basically, that's a story. Lah. So, uh, anyway, this is my lesson for today for Hotel California. And uh, please, I really need you all to help me out with this. Okay, uh, just subscribe to my channel. Uh, go to Muhammad Fauzi, M U H A M M A D, Fauzi, F A U Z I. I think before you can finish Fauzi, the Jali will come out. Jali is a strange spelling, I said. J A L L E H, not S A L L E H, not J A L I L. It's J A L L E H. It's a basically it's a Eurasian spelling uh, of, of uh, the name. So you get this name into your YouTube, okay, channel, your YouTube in your in your handphone, and then subscribe, and then uh, you get to learn my my lessons uh, for free of charge. <laughs> you come here and learn it from me. You come to the USJ Mall on the second floor. You got to take the Wawasan, the, the, the station to Wawasan. Come up to the second floor. I'll be here 12 hours a day from 9 to 9, 9, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I think 13 hours a day. I'll be here. I'll be teaching. Uh, you know what? With the COVID, with the COVID crisis, I, I lost most of my students and basically I lost most of my income so <laughs> it's bad uh, well uh, uh, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel because uh, the vaccines are here and the frontliners and uh, the politicians and, uh, are, are getting vaccinated and in due time we will get maybe in a few months a few months down the line we will get vaccinated and I guess uh, that's when our problems will be over with the crisis, with the COVID crisis, and I'll get back my students and I'll be back in business. And I presently, I don't even know where my next meal is coming from. Okay, it's not that I got two kitchens. It's not that. It's just, just that it's so difficult to earn a living when you lost all your students. And uh, I was forced to go online. Actually, I started this uh, during the first uh, lockdown where we were locked down in the house for two, what's it, two, two months, three months or whatever. No income, nothing. So uh, now, uh, ever since then, I, I went into YouTube uh, not knowing uh, whether I'll succeed, but I, I've got a lot of good news from them. They, they, they seem to congratulate me. The minute I reach 100 subscribers, congratulations, 200 subscribers, congratulations again. And, now it's approaching 300 subscribers and uh, 5,000, 6,000 or whatever. They are keeping tab on whatever my subscribers, my viewers are. And uh, basically, they're just encouraging me to go on, okay? Go on with this uh, YouTubing, what's the word for it? Content creation. Okay, you know, that's the word. You can study uh, content creation from the college <laughs> right in front of me. They uh, teach you how to do all. Uh, how to do editing and all that. I, I, so far, you've seen, you know, I just go straight onto the screen and I show you how to play the guitar. Basically, my style is a bit different. I don't teach you note to note. I don't teach you add verbatim. I teach you, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, the the uh, scales and all that. And basically, guitar, okay, this I'm, I, I, I just have to advise you all. It, it, it's a voyage of discovery. If I were to teach you note for note, um, you know, when you go for your grade one, grade two, grade three, and, and you learn, and the thing is that after you have learned all the notes and you know how to read, and then, but you can't play in the band. It's so sad, you just give up. Or you give up halfway to the course. My style is that you, you, you it's a voyage of discovery. You. You learn the techniques involved with finding scales. You find you you, you get into a, a group of, of uh, musicians and you start playing like uh, like we we started 
the main thing we wanted to do is form a band and then we try to work on. you read the story of the Beatles and all that okay all, all of them <laughs> they just they couldn't play they just got into a group and then eventually they they, they started learning uh, how to play most of them start the band first and learn to play later okay mm -hmm. but uh, that, that's for you to find out okay but in the meantime I'll be teaching uh, countries uh, uh, if you really want to learn one to one, one to one, you come all the way to my place here. And my teaching style is just, you sit in front of me, I show you the course. You, you, there's no magic. You don't need a classroom. You don't need a, a classroom full of computers and a blackboard and a teacher with a mortar board on the head. And, no, no, you don't need that. Just teaching is just one to one. Okay? Uh, it looks like i got a bunch of students. So, in the meantime, hey, come in, come in, come in. Uh, uh, so this is uh, uh, Muhammad Fauzi uh, signing off for another lesson. See you soon. Huh?